Hi friends, this is Stacy Mitchell from the Youth Services Department of the Fayetteville Public Library. And today I'm gonna show you how to use Cloud Library on your computer. So let's get to it. Open your internet browser. I like to use Google Chrome. And then go to our website at faylib.org slash databases. And that'll take you to the page you need to be at, which is the research and learn page. Scroll down the page. So what we're looking for today will be found up under the tab, eBooks and audiobooks. Click the plus sign to expand that. And today we're looking at Cloud Library. So click Cloud Library and it will open a new tab. What you need to do is scroll down and download an app to your device. The app that you need will be different based on the type of device that you use. I have Windows, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to click again, download the app, and then you see down here that it's downloading. I'm going to set it up. So next, I'm going to agree to the terms, and I'm going to install it. And now it's being installed. And finish. You can see it appeared down here on my taskbar. So welcome to Cloud Library, click, please click next to log in. And it's asking me what my country is. We live in the United States, in Arkansas. And we are using it through the Fayetteville Public Library. At this point, you type in your library card number and your PIN, which is the last four numbers of your phone number. You have to accept the terms and log in. Okay, and here we are at the Cloud Library app. You can see the menu along the top. It's showing me featured titles right now. You can see all the covers of all these books and they have it separated out into different categories. Those are the books that are currently featured. If I want to browse, I can click browse and it's going to give me different categories. So click on kids and then under that you have the option to look at fiction or nonfiction. Fiction, as you probably know, are stories that are made up from someone's imagination. And the way I remember that is because the word starts with F for fiction, which for me, I remember F fake. It's not real. Nonfiction is not fake. It's based on true things. And then under that, there are different categories to further browse. Once you borrow a book, you click on my books and you'll find the book there and you can click it and read it. Let's see. Let's say we want to find a book about Dog Man. We can use our search tab here to type in Dog Man. And Click search and now it's thinking and look there are several dog mans that I can borrow to read you can tell by this symbol here that they're ebooks not audiobooks and then you see this list over here it tells you what you can do so dog man number nine is currently checked out but I can place a hold so let's say I really want to read number nine and when someone returns it, I want it to come to me. So I'm going to add it to the hold list. It pops open the options for this book and I have to click add to hold list again. And now I am on the hold list. But in the meantime, maybe I want to read Dogman number two. So I'll go ahead and click borrow. It'll open up the title and click borrow again. All right. And now you can see under my books, you'll see that I have borrowed Dogman Unleashed and it is downloading to my device. I find Cloud Library is a really useful way for me to have access to the materials from home. So play around with Cloud Library and if you have any questions, send us an email. Thanks for watching this tutorial about Cloud Library. If you have any questions, you can always email us at kidsquestions at faylib.org. Happy reading.